the dog refused to let the baby sleep alone. When the parents found out the reason, they called the police. Jesse and David's family condition was very normal until Jesse gave birth to a beautiful daughter. From that moment on, their dog Benjamin completely overturned everything. Benjamin didn't let their daughter sleep alone. When they separated, it kept barking. When David realized what had happened, he found the most shocking thing in his life. He immediately called the police, and the police came with all available personnel. When the first policeman arrived, he could not believe what he saw. How could a dog notice this? He told David that he should be happy to have such an observant dog. In his heart, David knew that he had messed up. The dog should be protecting his daughter. In a few minutes, at least a dozen police cars arrived at the scene. They immediately began to ask questions to David and Jesse. The couple was not frightened. They still don't know the seriousness of the situation. The purpose of these policemen must be disturbing, but the fact that Jesse was pregnant was even more shocking. They believed the wrong person. But why did Benjamin refuse to let their daughter sleep alone? David finally found it necessary to have so many policemen. Everything began when Jesse finally became pregnant. Both of them wanted the baby for a long time. However, there was one thing that upset both of them. Benjamin, their dog, reacted very strangely to the child. Jesse has read some horror stories, some of which are about dogs not accepting another family member. Jesse and David both hope Benjamin can accept their children. One day, when Benjamin finally noticed that Jesse was pregnant, he began to bark repeatedly at Jesse's stomach. Benjamin seemed not satisfied with his mistress's pregnancy, and he began to behave very strangely. They couldn't figure out what caused this behavior, whether Benjamin felt threatened, or whether Benjamin could feel what was wrong with the child. Jesse must get the answer as soon as possible, or it will be too late. Jesse asked David to take Benjamin to the vet. They must ensure that Benjamin has no problems, and then they need to choose between the child and the dog. This choice is not easy but they know from the bottom of their hearts that they have to choose to make a choice. They will certainly choose to take Benjamin to its shelter, because it cannot accept children, which is to ensure that their daughter is safe at all times. The veterinarian made some medical checks to see if the dog was normal, and there was no problem. He told David that she must have felt something about the baby. He suggested David take Jesse to the hospital for some tests. When David told Jesse the news, she began to cry. She felt that everything was wrong. Jesse summoned all the courage to call her doctor. The doctor asked her to go to the hospital immediately. Jesse called her friend. Her friend had been helping at home during her pregnancy. She appeared within a few minutes to help Jesse go to the hospital. When they arrived there, the receptionist told Jesse that she could go in. The doctor did some detailed medical tests to ensure that everything was normal. The ultrasound and other tests did not show that Jesse or the baby had any problems. They still did not get the answers they wanted. When they got home, Jesse collapsed, she was crying, and she did not want to choose between her child and the dog. Annie comforted her that when they can't be at home, she will be around the children and dogs, and Annie will be their nanny. She has a lot of time. But what made Jesse uneasy was that Benjamin was always staring at her. After a few weeks, Jesse finally gave birth to a beautiful girl, Lily. Benjamin still behaved strangely, but after that, more unstable behaviors began to occur. The first few weeks seemed to be very smooth. Jesse and David were both at home to take care of their little daughter. Benjamin seemed to have calmed down. But when they began to work, Annie was at home to take care of the children and called them some worrying news. 
she told Jesse that Benjamin refused to let Lily sleep alone. And Benjamin would not leave her side. Jesse didn't understand. When she told David, he didn't think much. Benjamin was just taking care of Lily, and he thought it was a good thing. Then one day, Annie phoned in distress. She separated from Benjamin as usual, but when she arrived downstairs, she was attacked by Benjamin. Benjamin must have been overprotected. David knew that Benjamin must be punished for this behavior. He returned to the vet with a heavy heart. The vet gave David a choice. He could take Benjamin to the shelter, or he could find out why Benjamin had this behavior. Because the vet felt something was wrong. David was not satisfied with the words of the veterinarian. He said to David that the problem might be that Benjamin did not trust them, so he did not let Lily sleep alone. However, David knew from the bottom of his heart that there were other problems. For a time, they decided to observe Benjamin and Lily together. Lily seemed to like the dog very much, and Benjamin must also like Lily very much. They can't avoid Benjamin because of his overprotection of his daughter. The problem is that whenever David takes Lily to bed or Lily falls asleep, Benjamin will be at her side. David accepts this situation. Until one day, Annie called to say that she was bitten by Benjamin, which made David suddenly understand. David realized that Benjamin would react strangely only when Annie was around. Benjamin was calm when she was not around. Annie must be the problem. Jesse told David that he must calm down. She didn't want David to do anything unstable. Jesse told David that Benjamin also refused to let Lily sleep alone at night, so Annie could not be the problem, right? Jesse came up with a brilliant idea. She told David to install cameras around the house to monitor Benjamin and Lily. This will definitely get more answers. They can even monitor Annie in the daytime. Annie seems to be hesitant about David installing a camera in the house. She asks if it is necessary and why. Now she began to ask all these questions. David thought it was very suspicious. He did not believe her. But when David looked back at the video of the previous few days, there seemed to be nothing abnormal. Benjamin still protects her very much. Benjamin keeps staring at Annie. It seems that Benjamin doesn't trust her. David wants to confront Annie. David must do this without Jesse's knowledge, because they are best friends after all. David made himself look very angry and shouted at Annie, What did you do to my daughter? Annie was completely caught off guard. She assured David that she was not in a bad mood and fought back at David. She is very angry. How can she do anything? That stupid dog has behaved like this since Jesse became pregnant, and she is not even around at night. Then Jesse went home. Jesse was very angry with David for facing Annie like this. She didn't believe that she would accuse her best friend of threatening Lily. Jesse gave David an ultimatum to either find out as soon as possible or throw Benjamin away. At that moment, David realized what Annie had said, which would bring him all the answers he needed. Benjamin had the same reaction at night, but he never reviewed the video at night, but now he will certainly do so. David started the software. When he realized that every night's recording was erased from the hard disk, he gasped. There must be some very strange things happening here, but what? He decided to make a separate encrypted backup of the night video every day. David knew that he would definitely find out about it. Benjamin might have noticed something that he and Jesse could not feel. The next day, David was eager to watch the video. When he loaded the video, a suspicion was quickly confirmed. The video in the baby room was disturbing. He saw something enter through the window. David was completely shocked. He felt his heart beating in his chest. 
When he reviewed more videos, he was even more shocked. He must call the police before things get out of control quickly. David explained what he saw to the police, and the police immediately sent all available police to his home. David knows that he has just found something huge, but what needs such a huge police force? David asked Jesse to go home. A few minutes later, he heard the siren outside the house. The first group of police officers had arrived. Jesse also arrived home. She asked David to give her an explanation. When David showed her the video, she collapsed and sat down. Why? A police officer told Jesse and David that they must be proud that their dog can feel this. They watched the video and immediately asked David about their family. David explained their dog's behavior and reaction to Annie, which attracted the attention of the police officer and asked, where is she? David gave them her phone number, but couldn't reach her. Where is Annie? The police officers asked for more information and Jesse told them everything they wanted to know, while Benjamin was upstairs with Lily. When the police officer entered the room, he immediately ran to the wall and began to shout at the wall. It seemed that Benjamin wanted to tell the police officer something. There was something hidden in the wall. They broke the wall with sledgehammers. They broke the wall without even asking David and Jesse. There is a hidden compartment behind the wall. What happened here? They did not hesitate to pull everything out of there. There was a safe in it. At the same time, other police officers are carrying out a background investigation on an Anderson. Their results shocked Jesse and David. Without Annie, her information could not be found in the database and had not been registered anywhere. No matter who this person is, those identities are all fabricated by her. Jessie collapsed. She has known her best friend for more than 10 years. How could this happen? What's in the safe? Finally, a safe box cracker was transported. At the same time, Benjamin kept barking at the safe box. He also closely watched Lily. He must have smelled something. When the safe cracker was finally completed, they realized the seriousness of the situation and found a lot of money, jewelry, documents and passports in the safe. When opening one of the passports, the police officer recognized the person. Jesse screamed, it was Annie. They found a hiding place from Annie. The police captain came to Jesse and told them that they were facing an international spy named Elizabeth Holmes who was wanted by 17 countries for spying. Jesse was shocked. The reason why she infiltrated into Jesse and David's life was that David was the director of the national security company. He could have access to the entire national security network. Elizabeth was probably employed by a competitor's company to disclose secrets. At night, she erased the video and tried to crack David's computer. Benjamin was the only person who noticed Elizabeth. That's why Benjamin tried to protect Lily from any danger she might bring. Benjamin cracked the case. The police officers told David that he should be very proud of their dog. Finally, they succeeded in catching Elizabeth who tried to leave the country. She noticed the presence of the police in the house and didn't want to be caught. But when she was caught, she admitted everything and Benjamin saved the day. Benjamin and Lily grew up to be the best friends. Lily finally learned the whole story from her parents. She and Benjamin were inseparable from each other. Benjamin never stopped taking care of Lily. David and Jesse became more careful. They were very cautious about who to let into their room. If they made mistakes again, at least they had Benjamin to take care of them.